All right, all right. Hello, everyone. How are we doing today? I'll change the screen over in a second. Who are we going here so far? Mike, hello. Martin, hello. Tristan, hello. Tetra 3D Print, hello. And uh, Tristan, yes, it is more appropriate time than usual. It's just that uh, the parcel hasn't long turned up, so... Uh, I thought I'd do one now. Uh, Richard, hello. How are you? Oh, well, right. hello, oh let me mute that. God, that's delayed. Today. That's really delayed. Why am I delayed? I should be on oh, normal latency. That's why. Ah, oh, man. That's supposed to be set as ultra low. Alright, so there's going to be a bit of delay in the video that I see. and Looks like it's about 5-10 seconds. Let me just see how long it is. Test. That's really delayed. Why am I delayed? I should be on oh, normal latency. That's why. Ah oh, man, that's supposed to be set as ultra low. All right, so there's going to be a bit of delay in the video that I see, and looks like it's about yeah, looks like it's about 20 second delay. What it looks of it. Uh, Lester, hi, Mark, Matt. Hello, you in the car with the daughter? Afternoon, Andrew. How are you? It's going well. Let me give myself a like on the video. Close off the live stream. Dashboard is there. Let me get rid of my transitions. And that should have changed that over. Let's have a look. So you should now see me. Me. And then the box. If it changes over. Or oh, I haven't transitioned. Have I not transitions? I have no idea. Transition. Oh, it is live. This just hasn't moved. Oh, there we go. How far behind is this? So you should now see me. Very behind. This is going to be really odd. So you guys are going to like be 20 seconds behind me. That's fine. I can deal with that. Alright, let me minimise that then. So, yeah. Basically, this is uh, Fetus 3D. I saw them at, at TCT in um when was it when we went martin was it september we went to tct i think that's when it was i see a box yes you see a box and a knife i think it was september we went let me just september 2019 because i should have a picture um not those pictures Uh, oh, here it is. Right, rotate. There we go. So if I bring that over, I can show you. Yeah, just got back from driving to Aberdeen, dropped off my brother, then found out. It. Oh man, that's a bit of a pain, Andrew. Uh, uh, desktop. So, back in um, September, uh, myself and Martin Britt Hawks, we uh, went up to TCT. Um, let me see if I can get, actually, uh, the. Do, 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 do. Come on. Fetus.com. Come on. So, yeah, we, me and Martin went up to TCT for the weekend, uh, for the. The second day, I believe it was, it was the the Wednesday, the day in between. And actually, I might just be able to bring it up on here. Uh, media attachments. No, I don't want to attach a picture. I want to look at attachments. I'm saying going to load because my phone's not connected. Now it should. Uh, when was it? Um, nope, not that far back. Hey, Derek, yeah, and I met Derek up there as well. Uh, uh, I haven't seen the new Triangle Labs hot end, personally. Where was it? Um, <coughs> that's that. Was that it? 21st to 11th. And a second. 
Let me just duplicate that. Uh, Wednesday 25th. No, but the 11th. 21st. Should have. No, obviously not. Where was that then? Oh, yeah, what's that? Let me just. MS Paint. Hey, Saints, there. There we go. So, yeah, this was uh, myself and Martin at TCT uh, back in September. Uh, we were looking, this is the, the Fetus bo uh, booth. So, I was checking, looking, having a look at that. Um, this high end. Um, and it, it piqued my interest, to, to say the least, that it's, to me, it's combined two, two of the, the best hot ends on the market at the moment, the standard V6, which has been adopted widely across numerous printers. Um, Tristan, yes, this is called the Dragon Hot End. I didn't know that Triangle Labs is selling it as well, then. Oh, what am I doing? No. Triangle Labs High End. <coughs> We'd have to do it all one word, wouldn't it? Oh. Nope. But yeah, this is what Fetus is calling the, the their Dragon High End. So basically, Ru, Runic. Uh, Runice is the is the parent company. They're the ones that's actually designed it and put it together. So then we've obviously got resellers of it. Um, I can't actually see it on there. Uh, oh, where have we got to? Uh, Derek, Dragon Lot in China's Mosquito, like that. Water cord. No, it's not water cord. It's standard air cord. Um. Drive. Yeah, I can't see anything on their store. Well, not on AliExpress anyway. I suppose it could be. No, nothing yet. Nope, nothing. Nothing on. Nothing on their store at the moment. But yeah, um, Fetus is calling it a Dragon High End. So basically, this is. I saw this at TCT with Martin, and I was very intrigued, but I only had two there, so I couldn't buy one. And then they popped back up on Twitter, because they went to Formnext in Germany the other week. And I was like, is there a way to message you? So I messaged them, contacted them, and they've... I don't know what they've sent me. Until I open this box, I don't know what they've sent me. I asked for uh, one of each of their hot ends, their standard flow and their high flow. And some nozzles, but until I open this, I don't actually know what's in there. So, but yeah, this this is what they're calling their their dragon hot end. Let me drag this back. Have I got feet still open? Uh, don't save. It's no longer available. Alright, just Google Triangle Lab Dragon. Let's have a look at that. Oh, yeah, I see. Ah, oh, right, so it was over on Reddit. Very interesting. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's pretty much the same. But yeah, it's uh, Runis, is the company that makes them. It's the parent company. Five days ago that was posted. So yeah, they must have just been become a reseller then. Oh, it is actually on AliExpress. There it is. It's no longer available. So yeah, let's uh, get into this and open this up. And we can all have a look, see what I actually got. Could be just nozzles in here, personally. But no, the plan is to, if these work out well, I would like to become a reseller. Alright, so what have I got in here? So I've got... So 
some allen keys, screws, and a couple of grub screws in the box. What's this? Is this my packing list? Yes, packing list. Oh, right, here we go. Let me, uh, I don't know why I'm folding my address over, but. So we've got some brass nozzles, some hardened nozzles. Yeah, I've got an all metal standard flow dragon hot end and an all metal high flow standard. Oh, sweet. Uh, and then one brass, one hardened steel. I was supposed to have a couple of others. Alright, so that box is empty. Could just. Alright, let's get into this. So, yeah, we've got some Allen keys. But yeah, the plan is to, if all things go well, I'd like to be a reseller because it's something different. It's not something that can be got here. Um, and so on and so forth. Does that kind of make sense? or Alright, that's all bubble wrap. Alright, so what we got? So this is 0.4 hardened steel nozzle. Very nice. Looks nice and clean. Looks very clean actually. This is their standard 0.4 brass nozzle with their e EA Fetus logo on the side. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. 0.4 and then these are the hot ends. So, uh, AO. Oh, we'll just open it and find out. No, no stickers. Oh, no, it is. It's black. Oh, wow, that is so good looking. Oh, wow, that is nice. So these are standard rep wrap threads. All right, so that's what the grub screws are for. So we got, so we get a silicon sock. That, oh, that is nice. So I don't know which one this is. I think this is the high flow one. So if we, oh, hang on, what have we got in here? Oh, we got a nozzle. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's a point six. Points, uh, high flow point six. Yeah, that makes sense. That is nice. So yeah, we've got the, so yeah, these are standard groove mounts. The screws are in there so you can take the mount off. Take the sock off. Logo on the front, Fetus. If that's not around the right way, then just let me. No, because it doesn't look around the right way to me. But it's, it's solid. That is nice. So that's the high flow one. So you got silicon sock as well that fits it. So these, yeah, these are standard V6 style, uh, standard rep wrap style. So I should be able to like cold swap nozzles with this as well. Let's put the nozzle that back on there. I'm waiting for the data sheets to turn up for these, so I can get a bit more information. So when it comes to the review, but no, I like that. That is a lot better looking. Uh, Tristan, these didn't cost me anything. These are actual samples and reviews units that I managed to uh, get from them for the chance to uh, be a reseller. Um, where's that? Um, history. Yeah, so yeah, so they've obviously changed the colouring. I haven't got no Bowden attachment, so that's the only thing. There's no Bowden. I've got no collets or anything. So, so that's the high flow one, I think, because it's got came with a point six. Oh, I'll turn this heat off. Let's get warm in here. 
Oh, and this one's got a... So this one's black as well. And so this is the standard flow. So blue standard, orange high. So the difference is, is that the high flow has got its coils further up and then it's got an insulating block here to stop the cooling getting to the heat break. So it's got a longer melt zone, I assume. And then that's a standard flow. Wow, those look good. Actually, why? Yeah, that's what I was seeing in the college, just press for it. I'll have to grab one from E3D. So this is a standard universal E3D hot end. And they are bang on the same. That means I can put this in my Prusa. That, well, that's the plan anyway, since Prusa is the one I use. Well, it's the only one that I can actually put an E3D hot end in in a minute. And that, that, these are amazing. Alright, so the standard flow actually has smaller fins as well. I don't know whether you can see that. But, they've got smaller... Yeah, you can't really see it, can you? Let me just turn this light off and see if that makes any difference. It's a bit better. But yeah, the high flow's got a thicker bracing... Whereas the the standard flow one hasn't. So these must be all pre-tightened. For what did I get with this one? I got a oh standard six uh, point six. But these aren't brass. I'm wondering if these are their copper plate. Uh, their plate copper ones. The hole looks nice and clean. Definitely not gonna be able to see that on camera. That's their their copper one. It's got to be that copper one, I think. Um, so, yeah, the only thing I'm really missing is the um, the collets, the collet clips, which I'm going to have to contact them about. So, it looks like I've got... Grub screws. Oh, yeah, that's it. So, I've got two, two grub screws. Oh, there goes that. And two... Uh, M3 screws for the heat cartridge and such. Nice fit in silicon socks that are nicely, purposely designed to fit around the legs and everything, which is nice. So yeah, they're uh, different. I will. So if they've got standard groove mount, I wonder whether. I can get a smart effector adapter because I want to be able. Oh, that's why it's running the wrong way. I wonder why it didn't fit very well. That's it. That's better. But yeah, the silicon socks fit nicely. I can't tell whether the heat block's the same because I don't actually have a V6. What am I doing? I'm uh, looking at these fancy uh, new hotends I've just got in. One high flow, nope. High flow, standard flow. No, I think that's just the copper fins. The actual heat break, the the colour of it is silver, and then it's got copper fins around it. From what I can see, I don't know if you can see that. You see the difference? Copper fins and then a, a silver actual. Um yes, this is the Mosquito E3D baby clone. It, it, it's as if the Mosquito and the V6 had a baby. So I've got a high flow and a standard flow. Which I'm quite pleased with. These, are, these look very well thought out, well made. I don't dare take one apart because I don't know if I'll get it back together. So 
standard rep wrap size threading nice all I need now is a torque wrench I'm pleased with these uh, have I done that? Yeah, it's probably all right. So, yep, that's the. Anything else in that one? No, nothing in that one. So, that was the standard with a plated copper nozzle. That's the high flow with a plated 0.6 copper nozzle. And I've got hardened steel and a standard brass. And these look very well machined. I can't see where's. It does look very clear in there. No. Hole looks in the centre. Nozzles look very well made. So it's a point four with their branding on it as well. Oh no, wrong one. That goes back in that one. Oh, that's my V6. Go back down there. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much what these are. I'm, I'm glad they sent me the black ones. I was hoping for the blue ones, to be honest. They've uh, got blue ones as well. Oh. So if all goes well, I might see if I can get a different colour heatsink for, for me to sell. Potentially. Where we get to in the chat. Copper part makes no sense on a mosquito, that's the heat break and throat. These have the part and the heat break of it of the E3D is really this way. The standard slice engineering is a copper heat break over a, a silver tube. Hey, Don. Yeah. Yeah, exactly the same as uh, the Slice Engineer one. Oh, a little bit of filament in here. I just want to see how the path is. Oh, it probably wasn't the best, but it's got grooves in it. Oh, that's a nice tight path, that's for sure. Oh, 
because we've got to put it on the end. Hey, David. Very uh, nice, clean path through there by the looks of it. Yeah, as, as I said earlier, I'm still waiting for the full data sheets to be sent over to me. So I can actually check them out fully. Uh, yeah, I believe believe so. But the uh, the the frame on the the high flow one is uh, seems to have thicker fins than the the standard flow one. I really don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can adjust. You see the difference in thickness. This one's a lot. This one's a lot thicker than this one. And then. Uh, the, the high flow one's got it, it's like cooling radiator further up and then a ceramic bit there by the looks of it. And then the standard flow is just down. And then it's all mounted, bolted to the base by two screws. Two little screws in in here. And then these I assume I assume these are just mounted onto it but then you've got two screws come from the bottom into here and there's two screws holding on the groove mount at the top uh, it's the same size as the V6 so it's going to be able to be dropped into quite a few printers but until I test it I don't know we will see Standard flow one will be going on my Prusa. That is the idea. What have I got here? Oh, no. Oh, let's pull this back together for my uh, AMA build. Alright, uh, Martin. Yeah, I won't be on much longer. It was just a quickly a quick unboxing for these. That's that, that's that. I can go back in there. So yeah, looks like I've got two plated nozzles, 0.6 size, a brass 0.4 and a hard steel 0.4, and Allen keys, and that's that. Can I send you one for testing? <laughs> I've literally only got these two for testing. The standard flow is going to go on my Prusa and the high flow will be going on the Predator when I can get around to swapping that out. And I've misplaced... There it is over there. Misplaced my bin. But yeah. Oh, I just skipped the TV in the house. Do... Oh, David, I'm sorry to hear about that. I think that's it. I've uh, pretty much done that. Um, update on projects. Where's my main camera? There it is. Uh, NPCNC is uh, on hold at the moment. Uh, I haven't been able to buy the bolts and uh, bolts, bearings, control board, and tubing. I haven't been able to buy those yet. Um, I completed my paid job on Saturday, so a K40 will be coming soon. K40 laser car will be coming soon once I get the money for that job. Um, I finished printing a bunch of stuff for the IKEA lac table enclosure. I just need to get the the fixings and the acrylic panels for that. Um, 
I've done upgrade parts for my AM8 to turn it into a Bear Prusa-ish style um, extruder X-axis, uh, not Y-axis yet because I can't afford the Mark 52 bed from Prusa. Um, I may just buy a clone because it's not actually going on a Prusa. Um, what else have I done? I've moved my Predator and Core A8, swapped them over. So I should now be able to tinker with the Core A8 and get that Core XY running again. Because that's got a Volcano 0.8 nozzle on it to print big again. Um, uh, ooh. Just getting confirmation that 3D Meetup has changed its dates by the look of it. Looks like we're moving to August. All oh, right, that's banging the summer holidays. No, that shouldn't be too bad. That's not too bad. That should allow me to do a couple of other things, hopefully. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I've got to in a minute. I have got one last filament for the three D, the December three D mystery boxes to roll and send. I can send them all out tomorrow. Yeah, that's that's the only thing. That's why I'm torn between going just going straight to Prusa and just buying straight a Mark Fifty Two bed. Um, for the A mate. I don't know. I, I haven't decided yet. I'm going to leave the bed on it as it is for the time being. Um, bought myself a powder coated flex steel sheet for the Prusa the other day. That came in. What else? That's it, really. I've just got to buy. Uh, Triangle Lab Mark 52 beds work well. Yeah, I'll have to check those out. I've got such a list of stuff, it's uh, quite different, to be honest. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, MPC and C is coming. So as soon as I've got the final parts for that, then we'll be doing live streams uh, to put that together. The laser cut is coming, so that'll be a live stream unboxing that. Um, I'll probably do a live stream put, sorting the AMA out once I get the, the filament run out sensor. Um, and the Bontech gears. Um, I do need to do the SKR 1.1 E3 mini board for the Ender at some point. I need to update all the firmwares on everything to the latest. Um, and once those are out of the way, then we're ready for the new stuff. Did I figure out the temp error on the Prusa? No. Every time I did a film a change, it would just cut out. But the other night when... I was printing, what was I printing? I don't know, I was printing something. And it had a... Ended up with a bit of filament stuck in the, the hot end cooling fan. And it just, it stopped itself, moved it over to the left, and it stopped. And that sat there for eight hours, with the bed still hot, with no problems. I, yeah, if I have a filament run out, and that sits there for eight hours, bed cuts off. So, I don't know what's going on. Uh, Leicester, I'm getting a, um, a K40, um, yeah, I'm getting a K40 laser car, um, I'll start off with what it is to start with for my needs, and then I will start upgrading it, there's a company in Sweden that's doing, a, a new gantry kit system that will increase it to 400 to 700 cutting area, which would be quite nice. That gives you uh, the gantry, new motors, new mirror mounts, new mirrors for about 250 euros, which is quite nice. Um, so that would be good. I will probably get a chiller for it properly. Um, and so on and so forth. The MPC and C, I still don't know where I'm going to put it. I have no room in here whatsoever. Let me, uh, if I go back to your overhead and do... Oh, not do that because it's upside down now. There we go. It's a mess in here. As you can see, I uh, 
the Predator was sat just here where the Claw AA is, and the Claw AA was in there with a shelf on the top. But I swapped them over, because I've got more room this way around to get to the Predator, and I can now use the Claw AA. My two lac tables are sat there ready for all the all the parts up there, just need the fix-ins. The AM8 Prucify bare parts are all printed, sat on the AM8 ready to go. Um, but yeah, these uh, boards here, they're a metre meter that way and a metre that way for the, C, for the MPC and C. So I don't know where it's going, but the laser cutter will go on this worktop here, hanging from the ceiling. I haven't got a lot of ceiling, it's literally, I've got six foot. <laughs> that's it. But yeah, that's, um, and then this side behind me is where I do, like, the boxes, box everything up. Um, so I've got filament all on my desk at the moment. And then, oh, sorry, motion sickness. And then obviously this is my actual desk here. So uh, I'm running out. I'm running out of room very quickly. Um, I think the plan is next year with the the CNC up and running, the laser cutter up and running. Is I'm going to try and get jobs and stuff um, and try and raise the money I need to get my full size workshop that I want on the top of the garden. I didn't expect to outgrow this this space within a year. I've had this. I bought the caravan back in June, June 2018. Um, I finally got it done and ready to move in about the 8th of November 2018. And it's now December and I'm going into 2020 with very little room. So it's um, time to expand to another trailer. No, the plan is to get a... A 26 foot long by oh hang on what's what's three and a half meters in feet is 12 foot yeah 26 foot long by 12 foot wide sh uh, workshop office whatever at the top of my garden I've got to do a, a massive frame in that to be able to hold it up and everything because it's got to come off and be level and everything and it's just going to be a nightmare but um that's my plan for, that's my next expansion. This was only supposed to be temporary, but I was expecting it to be last a lot longer than what it has. Because at the moment, I've been offered a few more printers for review, but I've got nowhere to put them. So that's all on hold. Um, I've got no real room to do videos. Um, so that's pretty much where I'm at really um, I haven't got any more room to have another trailer on, on the driveway otherwise I would but um, the new the new size of space that I want is four times larger than this no I've got nowhere to put shipping containers Lester it even got to the point the other week that I actually started looking at renting a uh, shop space or workshop space or something but that's just like it's cheaper for me to put the money in and have a workshop at the back of the garden and work from home um, because at the moment I don't really have any overheads to to think about. So that's the the plan for next year, really. I think I've got a conservatory to build build for personally first. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going into the new year with trying to do is move out of the caravan and get a bigger space but I need to sit at some point and mock it all up in Fusion 360 and just go from there like I did with the the caravan um, of how I wanted it laid out and such so but yeah I think that's it I need to get on with mystery box and get those out today or tomorrow depending on how long it takes me to finish them off um So if I can get those out tomorrow, maybe we'll do a stream Wednesday uh, at some point. I say this isn't a bad time to stream, actually. I might, I might change my streams, I don't know. Busy, busy is good, but when you've got no space to be busy, it's very, very dull. I say once all 
Once this is clear, oh, it's like my Christmas tree. Mar Martin's uh, a bit of Hawks is a uh, Christmas tree that's doing very well on Prusa printers at the moment. This has actually got this is actually the project for uh, December's box. I've got lights and everything included in the box. Um, the stuff that I was going to do, not going to, not gear in time so that will be put to the side and used for oh I just broke it another day I got samples from Core 3D for their bed adhesive which is nice so yeah um, but that's it I think that's going to call it there I am pleased with these hot ends I do look forward to using them I can't see them being any worse or anything. Not 100% fully sure how I'm going to test them out, but we shall see. But the standard flow one will be going on the Prusa with the, the with the nozzle X that I've already got on there, and then we shall see how it goes. So yeah, but anyway, I hope everyone's had a, enjoyed the stream, and uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and if I don't see you Wednesday, I'll see you at some point, see you all over on Twitter, hope everyone has a good time, don't forget to hit the like button, if you're new, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next stream, goodbye for now.